Back in 2018, scientists made a discovery on Mars that would change their understanding of Mars. Radar signals that bounced just below the surface of Mars revealed a shiny patch. This patch was consistent with a pool of liquid water. Based on this finding, they started to search for more of these signals, and slowly more and more of them started to turn up, revealing what looked like a network of underground lakes. Up until this stage, they had only ever been able to detect frozen water, and this was the first indication that liquid water was still present on Mars. The next step for them was to explain how these underground lakes could still be liquid, and here is where the mystery deepened. They discovered that some of the patches were in regions that were just too cold for liquid water. Even with salt added, which could lower the freezing point, it was still not enough. Let's dive in and find out more. The scientists admit that they were not certain whether these signals are liquid or not, but they appear to be much more widespread than they had originally thought. And this means that either liquid water is common beneath Mars's South Pole, or that these signals are indicative of something else. Using the Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding Instrument on the Mars Express Orbiter, they discovered the first of these features at the Martian South Pole. This triggered a search of archived data which revealed three more of these lakes. It is believed that the Martian ice caps consist of alternating layers of carbon dioxide and water ice. From the analysis of radar technology on Earth, we know which signals are indicative of certain materials. Some materials reflect radar signals better than others, and liquid water is one of these. This means that when analysing a radar signal, those of liquid water will appear brighter and stronger compared to other materials. So when they examined the radar signals from Mars, they also saw that these signals were strong coming from the suspected lakes compared with the surface. This caused them to expand their search. They went back over 15 years of archived Marsis data and found dozens more of these highly reflective patches below the surface. More interesting was the fact that some of these patches appeared much closer to the surface, some as close as a kilometre. This close to the surface, the temperature would be as low as minus 63 degrees Celsius. In a previous piece of research, they found that water with salts of calcium and magnesium could remain liquid at a temperature as low as minus 123 degrees Celsius for long periods of time. Mars itself is rich in salts of calcium and magnesium. But in a 2019 paper, they found that no amount of salt is sufficient to melt the ice at the base of the Martian South Pole. And this meant that the only way that this water could be liquid is through some form of volcanism. The problem was that there is no sign of any volcanism around the poles of Mars. Therefore, at this stage, they think that the signal cannot be caused by water. But the problem is that they have no credible alternative for what the sources might be instead. So what might cause a supercooled liquid to remain liquid well below its supposed freezing point? In order to find a potential candidate, we have to look back to 2010, when some researchers from Israel were conducting experiments on supercooled liquids. Normally, when you cool a liquid, it should start to freeze at its freezing point. If you cool pure water, it turns out that it will not freeze as the temperature reaches zero. The reason for this is that freezing has to first nucleate by forming a baby crystal. This process takes energy which can make this process extremely slow. Due to this, the water can become much colder than its normal freezing point, and this process is called supercooling. If you take this supercooled water and disturb it by adding an impurity, for example, it will freeze immediately. Normal supercooled water can freeze at temperatures as low as minus 40. It has been known for over 150 years that the presence of an electric field can affect the freezing point. This phenomena is called electrofreezing. Dufour, in 1861, stated that such an electrofreezing phenomena existed, but presented no details of his experiments. Much later, Rao demonstrated that a few drops of water a few millimetre in diameter supercooled to temperatures between minus 4 and minus 7 Celsius froze immediately if a spark passed between them and an electrode. The main hypothesis for the effect is due to water's polar nature. Water has a small negative charge on one end 
and a slightly positive charge on the other. An electric field would align them according to their charge. But studying this phenomena has been difficult as charged surfaces act as nucleating agents and therefore trigger freezing. The scientists managed to solve this by creating a charge on a non-nucleating pyroelectric material surface to allow the electrical effects alone to be examined. The results show that in the absence of an electric field, the water droplets froze at an average temperature of minus 12.5 degrees Celsius. If the surface was negatively charged, the freezing point was minus 18. But if the surface was positively charged, the droplets froze at minus 7 degrees Celsius. They were very surprised at the difference between the charges and the exact mechanism which causes the effect is still unknown. They also found that they could freeze liquid supercooled water by heating it. When the surface was negatively charged, the water was kept liquid at minus 11 Celsius for around 10 minutes. But after the charge dissipated, the temperature was increased to induce a positive surface and they observed that the water started to freeze as the temperature rose to above minus 8 Celsius. Now those temperatures are obviously well above the temperature of Mars, and none of the experiments were conducted using the brine that they believe is present on Mars. Is it possible that there are currents flowing below the surface of Mars that are enough to lower the freezing point of the brine, keeping it liquid? Or is the surface in these chambers being charged in some other manner? One other thing that this links to is the frozen mammoth and other mammal carcasses we have discussed in the Earth in Upheaval series. Is it possible that those animals were flash frozen by supercooled vapour caused by an electric field and that a sudden change in the field triggered an almost instant freezing of the vapour over vast regions? As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.